Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create some professional looking end credits using After Effects. So before we start, um, I usually create a list using something like Excel or Numbers and in this case I'm using Numbers just uh, to create a list of your characters and then also a list of your actual cast names. This will just make things a bit easier, you don't have to do it but uh, you can always just type it in as well but I usually prefer to do this. So back into After Effects, we're going to create a new composition, HD, and I'm going to make this one 20 seconds long. Click on OK. And um, then we're going to go back to our Excel or Numbers spreadsheet. And then I'm going to highlight all my characters and I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to press Command C, go back to After Effects, and then I'm going to right click New Text. And then I'm going to paste that. OK, let's just move that up a bit. So let's start with the font. I usually try and use something very simple and plain like Arial or Arial Black or Arial Narrow. Um, in this case, we're using Arial Narrow and um, the size doesn't really matter that much. You can just set it up and see what looks best. Um, we'll get to more details on that in a second. And uh, then what you want to do is you want to set your text alignment to right alignment. So you get something like this. All right. And then we're going to duplicate that layer. So click on that layer, press Command D on your keyboard and just move it over to the right a bit and then we're going to set the alignment to left okay and then we can move it back a bit and you only want to keep a bit of a gap between those two columns something like that all right then we're going to go back to our numbers spreadsheet and i'm going to highlight and i'm going to copy the cost so i'm going to highlight that press command c and then i'm going to go into this column and i'm just going to highlight everything from the top to the bottom and then you just paste that in there. And as you can see, it actually dropped down one line. So I'm going to click on the first one and just do one backspace to get that aligned again. And next, what you want to do is you want to create a new text layer. And we're going to call this one cast. So all caps, C-A-S-T. And then you can just move that up and place it in the center, just above the gap that you have between these two columns, something like that. Okay, next I'm going to create a null. So I'm going to right click new and then null object. And then I'm going to link all these text layers to that null. So just highlight all these text layers and click on this parent and drag that over to your null object. And then you can also lock these text layers because we're not going to change them anymore. And then on your null, just expand position. And then you can obviously just move your credits around to try and center that. And what you can do is you can enable your uh, title and action safe by just pressing on this button here and click on title action safe. And obviously you need to try and keep your credits inside this area right there. And um, also you can use those little lines to try and center it. So I'm just going to try and position uh, that so it's nice and centered, something like that. All right. And then also one more thing about your uh, text color. So I'm just going to unlock these layers again and I'm going to highlight all of them and then we're going to click on the color here on the side and as you can see we're currently using a 100% white and it's not always a good idea to use white with a 100% brightness as it can cause some flickering on some TV screens. So I'm going to bring down the brightness to around 90% and uh, let's just double check that. So basically it's white with a brightness of 90. Right that's looking good and um, now we can lock those layers down again and then we can animate our title crawl. Right, so basically we're going to animate this number of the position. So I'm going to take it down all the way so it's out of the frame. And then we're going to click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And then I'm going to go to the 20th second of my timeline. And I'm just going to bring this number back so that it scrolls past something like that. And let's play that through and let's see how it looks like. Cool, so there you go. Really simple to create some professional looking credits in After Effects. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.